Wales is moving towards level zero. What does that actually mean in practice? And does it mean that life can return to normal pre-pandemic times? Well, it does mean that we are very close now to the way things were before coronavirus hit us all. The vast bulk of things that we had to restrict in people's lives and in businesses will have been restored to people. But coronavirus has not gone away. Hundreds of people fell ill yesterday for the first time with coronavirus and have done every day for the last few weeks. So we continue to ask people in Wales to do those simple things that we've all learned to do, which cumulatively mount up to a real defence against the virus. Sir, what do you say to those critics uh, who think that this decision may be a little bit on the hasty side, specifically because you look, if you look at the number of cases per 100,000 people, we're still tallying more than 100. I think the current rate in Wales right now is about 140 cases per 100,000 people. Why is the restriction so much now when you can wait a little bit longer just to be sure that cases are going downward and, and are on the right trajectory? Well, I think three reasons. First of all, case rates are falling in Wales. They're closer to 130 than 140 in the figures that we will publish today. And we've been on that trajectory now for the last 10 days or more. Vaccination is making a fundamental difference to the relationship between falling ill and needing hospitalisation. So in the second wave, 10% of people who fell ill with coronavirus in Wales ended up in hospital. This time, it's between 1% and 2%. So the impact on our NHS is very different. Uh, and thirdly, you know, we need to take advantage of the summer uh, period to allow people to live their lives in the way that they would wish to and to get their businesses back trading in the fullest sense again. Do you envisage Wales ever having to go back into some of these social restrictions if, say, hospitalisation rates start going up again? Well, provided we are able to hold the position we have today, then I don't anticipate us having to return to the level of restrictions we all had to live with back at Christmas time and at the start of this year. But nobody should you know, run away with the idea that this virus could not yet have further unpleasant surprises up its sleeve. That's been the history of the pandemic. Were a new variant to emerge, were the vaccination to be less effective than it currently is, if the Welsh Government needed to do things to protect the health of people in Wales, of course we would not stand back from doing so. But we don't anticipate that being necessary. And if we all continue to play our part, then that will build our defences against that risk even higher.